All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And today we've got something that I'm very much looking forward to. And um, I've not had many beers from this brewery, but uh, when I saw this on, I can't remember where I purchased it. It was a little while ago, but we've got a can of the Boxcar Triple Mild, uh, which is clocking in at 9% ABV, described as an English dark ale. Uh, pure luxurious luxury, pure luxurious luxury, the mildest of milds, wilder than you ever thought could be possible, even in your mildest dreams. Dream on, people, dream on, kiss, kiss, kiss. Now, I have it on good authority that Boxcar make a good mild. They also make a really good double mild. And when I saw that they had the triple mild, I knew I had to pick a can up, even though I think they had the double mild at the same time. So I don't know why I didn't pick up both, um, to be honest. I love a good pint of mild. Um, there's just something so satisfying about a pint of mild, that nuttiness, that sometimes creaminess, this almost like decadence and meal in a glass even though low abv and to be honest locally you can get a good pint of mild for really quite cheap especially in the local labor club so happy days so a triple mild i'm interested i know people will rightfully say well it's technically not a mild then is it if it's if you double it and then also if you triple it but I'm really intrigued to see what a high ABV triple dark mild would taste like. Really cool artwork, nice label, very simple as well. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get this open and see what we get. Phone's ringing, so the sound could cut out. Of course, when I go to record a video, people actually want to speak to me. They've had all day too, but no, anyway. So let's see what we get with this one. Certainly pouring nicely. And it's actually pouring like a, a mild wood, really. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna be getting like a creamy thick body with this, but it certainly looks the part in the glass. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite jet black, but it's really sort of dark, oaky. Um, very intense looking, with just shy of two fingers worth of a nice beige coffee looking head. So on the nose, it smells like a mild. There is this slight, it's not boozy as such, but there is a tiny bit of oomph to it. I'd say there's almost like a, like a chocolate, coated dark fruits thing going on a little bit of a slight musky tone in there as well but it smells exactly like a mild and it does not smell like a nine percent abv beer maybe as it warms up slightly because uh, i'm not gonna lie this is straight out the fridge which is probably not the most um, ideal temperature, but when you get a pint of mild in most places, it's cooled down anyway. So, you know, what's a, an authentic mild temperature? People will say it's like from cask and uh, at room temperature, but you know, it doesn't always have to be the case. Still getting bags full of flavor on the nose, so nothing's masked in that regard. So without any further ado, Said that twice now. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that's good. 
I could just end this review now and probably save a lot of people a lot of um, wasted time. Why are we making more higher ABV versions of Miles? Because that works ridiculously well. A little bit of warmth on the back end, but not much. No way. I've still got that light, almost skimmed, milky mouthfeel to it. There's quite a pronounced bit of dark chocolate that I'm getting more towards the back end. I'm getting loads of like raisins, darker fruits, steeped sort of fruits. There's almost this port-like character coming through, which I think if they aged this in a port barrel, that would just do wonders to what is already a fucking amazing little beer. Like little, it's 9% ABV, but... I'm even getting like... Slightly higher ABV Doppelbock sort of vibes about it, which again, another one of my favorite styles. It sort of got an English strong ale vibe to it as well, so that's a, yet another one of my favorite styles. So we've got clearly mild, doesn't stray away from what a mild is, which is good. I'm glad of that. I didn't want it to go into too you know, too far um, out of the realms of absurdity. A little bit dry on the finish from that ABV. It's not boozy at all, but the more you drink it, it does build up slightly, if that makes any sense. Completely contradicted myself there. But yeah, a little bit of brown sugar. There's like a really nice, like reduced dew sort of sweetness to it. Yeah, like you've like deglazed a pan with port or something. Yeah, very big port vibes on this. So yeah, if you like your milds, if you like your Doppelbox, and if you like your English Strong Ales, it's got all of those characteristics in one beer ridiculously drinkable for what it is but still has that decadence and richness sticky on the lips that is it just hands down a marvelous beer and if people have been put off from trying this or the double miles because the higher abvs are milds don't don't worry about that. You're still getting mild first and foremost, but there's just a little bit more oomph to it. It's a little bit more nuance, yet robustness. Can something be both nuanced and robust? Who knows? I just like using big words. But yeah, it's surpassed what even I thought that would be. Not that, you know, people should think anything about the standards I set but I really 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 like that and to be honest it's been a little while since a beer's really you know excited me and this is a very exciting beer it's silly but not too silly it's bold and ultimately, God, I'm starting to sound like a twat off like Saturday Kitchen or something. It works and it's a great drinking experience and I'm loving every single sip of this. Even though it is still chilled down, I'm still getting bags full of flavour as it warms up. I'm imagining you might get maybe a little bit more woodiness coming through and those sorts of flavours. But yeah, 
absolutely ridiculously wonderful beer and um, yeah I'm very very happy with this so if you've tried it let me know your thoughts opinions down below if you tried the double mild if you tried the, the regular dark mild um, do you like milds do you find this to be you know you maybe a bit too sort of overly romantic when it comes to the the mild style let me know in the, the comments down below so go check out Boxcar and I will definitely be picking this up again and I really want to try just even like the regular Dark Mild because if this can have that effect on me, again, it sounds like I'm properly bigging myself up like I'm, you know, king fuck of shit mountain. I'm not. It's just I love a good pint of Mild and this is delivering on that but just giving you a little bit more. In fact, not a little bit more, a lot more. And I think Boxcar should be very, very proud with this beer indeed. Wonderful stuff. And barrel aged this in a port barrel and it's going to be perfect Christmas ale in a big 750 bottle to share with friends. Why aren't I in the brewing industry? Oh, that's right, because I'm terrible at making things. Anyway, cheers for watching, folks. You all take care, stay safe, and I shall see you all later. And I'm doing peace signs a lot because I'm a changed man. Bye-bye. And a wink.